Today's talk is on God image and how God image can be applied in spiritual direction or counseling with clergy and vowed religious. We know that today clergy and vowed religious are living longer than before. The percentage of older clergy and vowed religious men over the age of 65 is growing with increased longevity, better medical care, and the later age of those entering religious congregations. A greater understanding of how God images during the lifespan of clerics and religious is important in order to decipher how best to incorporate God images in spiritual direction and counseling with them. God images at various stages of spiritual development may be different. These God images could have occurred via a person's idea patterns, lifestyle, personal goal, or adaptive capacity. How that person has integrated those God images has the potential to influence that person's meaning making, religiosity, and spirituality. Thus, understanding the God images of a person can contribute to improved coping, meaning making, adaptive capacity and spiritual growth. So let us see how these images can be utilized in spiritual direction and therapy sessions. Firstly, we can consider God images in early childhood because familial God images and images which come from early childhood because of school or other social situations may lead to a better understanding of their constancy in the lives of directees or counselees. A person's idea patterns, lifestyle, personal goals, or adaptive capacity influences their God images. This could result in positive or negative images. And knowing how to use these images in spiritual direction or counselling would help in understanding and approach the person affectively and spiritually and helping that person to reach growth or maturity. Psychosocial maturity commensurate with age is important when we look back retrospectively. Therefore, it means how has the person grown? How has the person aged? Therefore, relationships are important at different developmental milestones in early childhood. It is important to know how the ideas, personal goals and values fitted into the life of the person and influence that person's God images. Also, how they have influenced his or her life choices, especially in spirituality and religion. The counselor or the spiritual director or spiritual directress can talk about how the person has used those God images in the face of difficulties and therefore can utilize those images. As this may indicate how that person faced with crises and thus the adaptive capacity of the person. A second way by which we can utilize God images is to know the role and the impact of caregivers. Caregivers during childhood and adolescence often influence the religiosity of a young adult, depending on parenting styles. These caregivers can include persons other than parents, persons who have strongly influenced a child or an adolescent, like teachers, relatives, heroes, or any significant person. The characteristics of the caregivers can also be seen in relation to the God image. Attachments and capacity for empathy, emotional, psychosexual integration, and an integration of strengths and weaknesses should be examined in all caregiving relationships as they would have impacted the person. These could then be related to the God images which the person has. In later adolescence, relationships are very important and how those relationships are formed and how they impact the person. Relationships during adolescence influence the identity development 
of a person because it includes preserving the sense of the self for the future. Recognizing how important this stage is in life development therefore implies that God images at these ages and their impact on the person must be understood and explored. The religious and spiritual development trajectory of the person can be looked at using God image as a base. The spiritual director or the counselor may seek to understand how the person employs religious beliefs, how he or she conceives God, and whether specific beliefs or practices appear salient to the person's emotional and spiritual life. This would imply that the person knows, understands, and accepts the role of religion or spirituality in his or her life. A person's meaning-making and spirituality is influenced by how one integrates those God images, and they could be examined at the various developmental stages of the person, looking for negative and positive attachments, and at how those attachments and those images have been integrated in the life of the person. Sacramental ordination is an important step in the lives of clerics and many religious, and moving from one step to the other is also a very important. Therefore, it is important to see how images are sustaining the person or if they are not sustaining the person and whether they need to be changed. So therefore, transition points, especially major transition points in the life of clerics is important because stresses and strains occur at those major transition points and may impact the God images of the person. What should be looked for are changed images or whether the person wants to change those images because in times of crises, they can be used to strengthen the vocation of the clergy and the vowed religious and help them grow and manage their spiritual and social lives. Most clergy and religious have a standard formation and understanding God image would help them value the understanding of what meaning is to help them look at growth or regression in their own spiritual or religious lives and to attain a level of meaningful engagement in their apostolate. In conclusion, I would like to say that God images form important aspects of the lives of clergy and religious. These images can be utilized effectively to help those who come for spiritual direction or counseling so that they may discover symbolic meanings and a thematic continuity. The images that are significant and which give meaning can serve as resources for adapting to change, making them anchors in the lives of the persons and helping them develop effective frameworks for deeper understandings of God, organizing their knowledge about their understandings of God, setting spiritual and religious goals and interpreting their God experience in the light of these insights. This will then enable them to communicate their images in word and deed and thus serve others better.